Let's take a look at this data table and try to make sense out of it by using a pivot table. So one of the things you notice here uh, about this data is I have several different products. Obviously, many products are listed multiple times on this, this in this particular column. We have categories. Again, we have two categories. Uh, we have amount paid, dates, and then um, countries here. So we're going to try to make sense out of this. I'm going to contract this uh, menu here so we can hide that so you can see a little bit more of our data. And you notice there are many different, it looks like there are 214, 213 different records here. So it would be awful hard for us to go in and try to make sense of this to figure out how many carrots were sold. Um, in the United States because I'm guessing that there are multiple instances of carrots sold in the United States here as we go through. So um, what we need to do is we need to use a tool. Again, we could use a complex formula or we could use a pivot table to actually take and um, create or make sense out of this. So I'm going to have to re-expand this guy here. I'm going to first go ahead and select my columns. So the first thing you have to do is you have to tell uh, Google Sheets what data you want to use to create your pivot table. I'm then going to go to data and I'm going to go to pivot table and what it's going to do so it knows that this is the data A through F, right? And from here what I have to do is I have to kind of understand my data a little bit and be able to say okay what do I want to do with this data here? How do I want to represent this? So probably one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a country. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my country in there and notice I've got all the different countries in here that and it's showing me by ascending, right? I can do ascending or descending, right? So that's the first step here. Now what I want to do is I want to add another row, row and this time I want to do it by product here. So let's just go ahead and add product. And now you notice what happens here is I've got a total by um, Australia for the apples, bananas, beans, and so on that it actually sold. I don't have any totals yet, but I'll show you how to do that. And um, so I've got those for each one of the countries represented here. So that in and of itself is a nice way for me to be able to look at Australia. Okay, what kind of sales did we have in Australia for these different types of products? Now the next step here, um, what you have to do is you have to think, okay, what do I want to do with this? Well, I want to know what the sum for each one of these different products were for, um, uh, for each of the countries. So I'm going to come down here to values, click on values, and I'm going to add amount. And now notice what it actually gives me the opportunity to do is I have all kinds of different formulas that I can put in. But in this case, I just want to know what the total is, right? Now if I click on that, now what you notice is that I can actually figure out how much sales, what the sum of sales is for Australia. I can also figure out how many apples Australia sold versus apples in Canada and France and so on. It looks like France, you know, outsold um, Australia and apples by about four times. And again, I can kind of go through these. So pivot tables really allow you to take this huge sets of data, again, 214 or 13 uh, rows of data and kind of break it into smaller pieces that are easier to digest, that are easier for you as a user to visualize. And so that's one of the pieces in the, um, the pivot table that I want to make sure you understand is just being able to take and, and visualize data a little bit differently than um, maybe you're used to. Let's go ahead and take this a step further here. So we've got our sum here. Now, maybe what we want to do is we want to kind of look at the difference between fruits and vegetables here. So I can add a column. So I'm going to come back over here to column and I'm going to actually look. I know that that my category actually distinguishes between fruits and vegetables. So I'm going to click on that. And now what you're going to notice is that I have the totals of fruits and vegetables for each of these um, different countries. Now the last part of the pivot table that's really powerful is this filter here. So we've talked about filters already. Let's say that I want to know what the difference between fruits and vegetables are. So I can actually turn off a column here and get a different sum uh, in my totals column. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add a filter and I'm going to go ahead and filter this by category because I want to filter out the difference between fruits and vegetables. So click on cal or category. I click on items and it's you know, just the same kind of thing. I'm going to get rid of blanks. And we're just going to take a look at vegetables first. We're going to see what the totals for vegetables. So what I want you to notice is that I have 131,000 right here. If I take out fruit, I click OK. 
Notice what happens is I've got a total now of 40,000. So of the 131,000 that I sold for Australia, 40,000 of that was um, in vegetables. Again, I come back to here, I turn on fruit, turn off vegetables. That should be around, oh, say 80, almost 90,000. So let's just take a look here. So 91,221. So again, Pivot tables are just really powerful tools to help you actually look at data differently, to visualize a little bit differently. So hopefully that helps you to see how a pivot table is created. Hopefully you were able to do that as I was doing it, just to kind of give you a sense of how to create a data table. And um, good luck as you study for your level two um, test.